Welcome to Common Computer Private Limited e-learning program of hardware networking. We are going to see about uh, printer technologies. So a printer is one of the output device used along with the computers and um, it is used for taking the uh, computer outputs whatever you are seeing in the screen uh, as a word document or as a picture or as any other uh, object. So that can be taken as a hard copy in the printer. So there are a lot of printers available. So um, in a different size, different models, different technologies. Okay, so we'll be covering three technologies in this particular topic. So uh, pr without printers, uh, we'll not be able to take outputs. So normally, uh, in all the companies, we use printers for taking the hard copies and uh, doing the manual um, uh, signature or authorization and uh, filing it as a document for uh, future reference and um, in residence also printer is um, very much required because um, uh, for each and every uh, printouts you cannot go out and take a printouts right so if you have a printer in your house you can take printouts in it and if you have kids and they are doing schooling and all there are a lot of projects works assigned so we can use the printers for taking the printout so it will be saving time as well as cost also and um, some of the companies are now going for a digitalization where uh, they, they move all the documents into digital form and uh, they get the signature they get the digital signatures uh, for all the documents and reducing the paperwork so in government side also most of the um, documents are becoming as a uh, digitalization that is uh, advanced uh, part of our technology but okay so we have to discuss about the different types of printers available here so majorly what we can do is we can split it into two uh, category one is an impact printer and the other one is a non-impact printer so in impact printer we have different types uh, one is a character printer and other is a line printer so uh, printer is like it does not have any uh, fixed character as you see in a typewriter you will have some number of pins or number of uh, holes so that will be spraying or touching the paper uh, for making the uh, printouts so we differentiate here by um, um, the method like whether it is touching the paper or not so based on that we say it is a impact printer or non-impact printer so in case of um, character printer dot matrix you see in the bottom um, you'll be getting only one character at a time um, it has relatively low speed but uh, it is used for long run right so you want to take uh, multiples of printouts so normally we go for uh, dot matrix printer so non-impact printers for example we have um, uh, inject printer and um, laser printer majorly used apart from that you have thermal printer photo and uh, photocopy printer and plotters so photo printers normally uh, in photo studios they will have this kind of printers so when you take a photo and um, they'll have um, a photo quality paper also it's not a normal a4 paper so it will be printed over the uh, paper itself the printed sheet and uh, in home we'll have mostly we'll have inject printer or laser printer laser printer is costly bit costly uh, compared to the inject printer so normally we go for inject printer so in market now if you want to buy epson or uh, other inject printers the charge around uh, 11,000 to 14,000 depending on the uh, technology what we go for it and we have uh, ink tank printer latest so you can buy it for 14,000 rupees it will be a MFP printer multi-function printer we call uh, because um, you can do a scanning printing and photocopying with the help of this multi-function printer so it will not be only doing one job okay so that kind of advancement we got it today's life and um, inject printer uh, we'll be seeing the uh, coming slides inject and laser so we'll move on to um, printer technologies difference between the impact and non-impact printers so in case of impact printer image is created with the impact impact in the paper right so um, it will be pressing touching the paper so you will have if you touch the paper in the back side you will see some kind of projection is there um, and uh, it will be uh, making um, impression more impression to the paper it has a predefined characters so not possible to use it for graphical purpose 
So mostly uh, we will not use the uh, dot matrix printer or impact printers for graphic uh, photocopy printouts, right? So um, any graphics we will not use it. It will not give good quality also. So we don't go for preferring slowest in operation because it is printing character by character. Uh, it, it gives you very slow output. But uh, the advantage is um, it, it can run for a long time. Uh, it will not uh, uh, get tired or um, get hang up, right? Multi-power printing is possible because it is an impact printer. What I can do uh, if I want to take multiple copies at a time, I can uh, do it, right? I can have uh, two or three uh, um, carbon papers behind the paper and uh, take uh, multiple copies, two, three copies. So normally in the case of um, um, a bill payment or any other transactions, uh, you want to have evidence for one, for you one copy and other is a customer copy. I mean, uh, manufacturer's copy. So they will get a copy from this multi-part printer consumable is of low cost so you'll maximum will purchase only ribbon cartridge if the printout is very um, dull so not more than that right so consumable wise and uh, maintenance wise also uh, somewhat better in case of um, uh, normal non-impact printer so continuous operation is possible um, even people type continuous pages in government right, building section and other areas they continuously print with the help of um, uh, this impact printer. So they'll use some um, uh, uh, papers like uh, both the side um, corners, right? You'll have holes. So they'll feed the paper into the paper roller and uh, it'll be having grip so that um, it can move, uh, move accordingly and uh, uh, help for taking a printout. In case of non-impact printers, there is no contact between papers and head. Uh, one side, the ink is getting sprayed in case of inject printer or in case of laser printer, the powder is sprayed all over the uh, paper. No predefined characters, whatever you have it in your uh, uh, computer screen, that is being coming as the output. Graphical pictures, you better based on the uh, quality of printer, quality of ink use, you will get near photo quality printouts in, in, with the normal uh, printer itself. Uh, fastest operation, minimum it prints six pages per minute. Uh, if at all you are buying a printer, uh, inject printer or uh, uh, laser printer, you have to see some of the basic characteristics, right? So you, we'll see in the uh, separate section. But uh, one of the parameter is uh, PPM, pages per minute. So it has to be verified. So um, this is the minimum one, right? So you have printers with uh, 10 pages per minute also. Um, Multi-part is not possible because um, it is not touching the paper. So Instead of taking multi-power printing, you can take a duplicate copy that is second printout or third printout. Uh, uh, so it will come faster, right? Ink and tonal cartridges are at higher cost. So earlier stages, uh, some five years or 10 years back, the inject printer uh, rate was very less like 4,000 or 5,000. But um, the cartridges are removable and uh, use and throw model. Okay. So you have to, there is no refilling option provided at that times. So the cartridge, one cartridge itself, 1,500 or 2,000. So it will come for uh, some 300 or 400 pages or more than that also if based on the type of print what we do. We take only text printout or we take only normal printouts. We are not taking any um, uh, graphical printouts or consuming more ink. So that will come for a long time. Um, so uh, that way the uh, cartridge was costly, right? Consumable. C cartridge was considered as a consumable that time. Now um, we have different technology called the ink tank. So we need not throw out the uh, cartridges. Cartridge is fixed and uh, you'll get an ink supply from the um, storage area. So the ink will be supplied even if the ink is uh, empty. Uh, you can buy the uh, standard ink from the uh, standard uh, shops and refill the uh, toner tank. So you can do it. But in case of laser printer, you cannot do that. You have to give it to some person outside, right? So they'll fill the toner and give it to you. So even toner filling is not uh, recommended for more than two or three times because the quality of the drum inside the toner cartridge will become uh, poor because one toner cartridge can come up to 1000 or 2000 pages also based on the type of print you take. So the toner drum will get um, uh, uh, damaged. So you have to go for uh, replacing the entire toner cartridge in that way. Uh, the uh, cartridge is costlier compared to your dot matrix printer. So both the things have advantage and disadvantage that we have discussed now. So we'll move on to the um, dot matrix printer, uh, which is the 
uh, first model available in the market and uh, still uh, most of the places we could see uh, kind of dot matrix printer is available right so why it is called dot matrix is uh, because it prints uh, with the dots and uh, it, it is uh, formed based on the matrix structure uh, like uh, 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 like that so because of that only we call it as a uh, matrix printer dot matrix printer so if you see the uh, picture right so i am taking 9 by 9 that is 9 rows and 9 columns uh, in that um, the top uh, top row and bottom row i have to leave it blank or i'm i'm going to leave it blank and um, i'll be using only uh, five uh, if you see the red color mark right i'm i'm mentioned here like you have five uh, columns and seven rows right so for printing a character uh, you need to have only um, seven rows and five columns so rest of the rows rest of the columns are used for different purpose for example you want to have a special character or a first to be comma uh, a first to be or comma so you can use the uh, two columns and the top row right for the comma you'll be using two columns and the bottom row so for comma you will not go for nine by nine matrix right or for uh, some other special characters you will not go for nine by nine right so only for alphabets and other um, uh, characters the long, bigger characters will be using uh, the nine by nine format right otherwise we'll be using a small area like this double quotation or a single quotation whatever it is so this is how the dot matrix will be calculating and printing the character so the dot matrix printers the paper feed will be a kind of rolled rolled one so um, it will be having holes on both the sides so it is called as a, a continuous form feed or a, a tractor feed both the sides it will have a wheel so you can make it as an automatic rotation uh, when, the, when the printout is coming and as well as once the printout is complete you can move it manually and uh, move out the paper or tear the paper out of the uh, dot matrix printer some kind of standard sizes will be there uh, based on the um, company's uh, requirement uh, in banking and all once you pay the payment they print out the transaction and give you the sheet right so they'll have a standard holes in the paper and that uh, they will tear the paper and give it to the uh, customer so um, because of the print process they use um, dot matrix will not give you the high, higher quality printout so you can easily see the dots what they are uh, printing over the paper so with the normal eyes you can see it and um, so text and images are usually appears as a grainy so in the picture you can see right so you can easily find out the number of dots available for uh, taking a printouts um, this is maximum used as a black printer single color monocolor printer we can call it as a monocolor instead of calling it as a black and white printer because the ribbon is black so you will get only one color output right um, um, normally we don't prefer to go for a uh, color dot matrix printer it is complex as well as um, it is not coming with the good life so if you see here i took um, example of a epson uh, cartridge ribbon black cartridge in the printer so this is the um, the black cartridge you are seeing in the left top side right so this is the ribbon cartridge and uh, the uh, flat one is the ribbon so this will be moving uh, when you are typing the uh, character printout and um, it will be available as a, a roll okay so uh, you have to open the roll and make it as a uh, dumped inside the cartridge like this and when you are printing the head will be moving this is the print head you, and then this will be moving over the roller and the uh, ribbon also will rotate according to the movement so both the things will be moving parallelly so uh, as some, after some time you are getting a light character right so the character is um, not showing clearly or it is very light in nature so what you can do is either you can replace the ribbon or sometimes you will be getting the printer ink and you can dip the ribbon into the printer ink and um, you can make it use again so there are alternate methods available uh, instead of buying the um, printer ribbon cartridge uh, you can buy the ink also so there are options okay so this is how the color cartridge appears 
and you should go for a, a color printer uh, it will have a different heads also for covering the uh, different colors and you need to have a special head so that is the color dot matrix printer but uh, having said um, people have not chosen this very much uh, in the industry because dot matrix printer even though it is printing in color uh, the output is not um, appreciated one right so the resolution is not good even you will be seeing as a dot only not more than that so red dot yellow dot cyan dot something like that so it is not close to each other so even you you will be having it as a dot dotter printouts so you not this is not being mostly used by the organization so we, we have chosen a single color printer monocolor printer for uh, dot matrix which is widely used because of uh, continuous usage or um, less maintenance or less uh, uh, reusable things so we preferred dot matrix printer long time okay now we are moving to the um, uh, inject printer or uh, laser printer so when the printer company advertises in the um, uh, television or another media they say for one printout you are paying only six paise or ten paise which is less than your uh, photocopy charges right even if you go for a photocopy one paper you are being charged one rupee or two rupee right so normal uh, photocopy so what uh, the media is advertising in the uh, televisions they say one for one printout you pay only 10 paise so normally people will tend to buy a printer overall taking regular printouts normally the advocates business people um, small uh, shopkeepers so they go for billing right once you buy the product they will be billing right so they go for having the inject printer uh, so it will be running long and um, give multiple copies without any noise or uh, uh, with high resolution to improvise the dot matrix printer we got another version of dot matrix printer which is called as a near letter quality they tried improving the resolution and uh, released this as a model in the market and showing that um, you will get uh, good quality of printouts uh, they mention it as a character spacing that is cs right four character spacing uh, 10 ca characters per inch so um, the space between the character that is the character spacing and if you take one inch that is 2.5 centimeter or 25 mm okay so within that you will get 10 characters so the characters are uh, somewhat closer and um, the space between the character is also less so you'll get good quality if you reduce the character spacing to 3 you'll get 12 characters per inch so as you reduce the number of character it becomes congested right so if you see uh, no character spacing you get 16 cpa condensed printing 20 cpa in case of no cs itself the character will be next to each other so there is no differentiation between one character and other character if you choose condensed printing that's it so it's of no use in taking the printout so it will be more uh, congested and uh, letters are um, printed over another so one another so it will not be in a uh, proper readable format but still for if at all you are going for uh, taking uh, pictures as a printout you can preferably choose the condensed printing because it is printing next to each other so you will get closer uh, output in the uh, picture quality printout right so somehow you are going to get um, uh, better quality printouts of graphics from the dot matrix printer so that is why they have kept condensed printing but if at all you are uh, taking only text printout i suggest to go for four character spacing right it will be in proper whatever you see in the screen right so it will be like that so with the proper spacing and distance you will get a good quality printout compared to the normal uh, dot matrix printer nlq printers have come with the uh, advancement so uh, everybody started buying the NLQ printer and uh, the industry also merged to NLQ printer. So now uh, whatever things we are seeing right uh, if you see the picture I mentioned uh, it has a nine, uh, 9 rows and 9 columns and um, it is using 7 rows and 5 uh, columns for uh, taking printout. It means that the head whatever we are choosing the print head it will be having nine pins as a single column nine pins not as a straight line uh, it will be just um, in a, a sliding way so in a one column you will have nine pins right so 
that will be used for taking a printouts. So apart from 9 you had 8 in and further uh, they released 24 pins. 24 pins it means that within the same uh, 9 by 9 uh, since you have more pins available so it will make more uh, impression and uh, it will cover the uh, spaces. So uh, you, you got better output with the 24 pin head. So you'll have to uh, have a different type of printer to have a 24 pin. You cannot use 9, 9 pin printer for keeping the 24 pin because the mechanism will not function. The logic things will not be calculated for the uh, 24 pin if at all you connect it into the uh, 9 pin printer. So when you are buying the uh, print heads, if at all you are having a dot matrix printer, you should be very careful whether it is a 9 pin or 24 pin, right? You have to match it and accordingly you have to buy it. So obviously 24 pin um, impact printers are giving high quality but cost is more compared to the um, uh, 9 pin printer. So it is very uh, less used in the industry. Uh, normally maybe corporate users like a bigger company they for getting a good quality they used as 24 pin 24 pin printer but the middle level or lower level they still uh, using uh, 9 pin printers so later to improve the, uh, uh, the the improve the implementation of uh, 24 pin printer they reduced the cost and uh, gradually people started buying the 24 pin printer and uh, it was it was peak in the market uh, so they also give the uh, ratio as 360 by 360 dots per inch with good quality output. So if at all I am going to buy a printer for my house, for my office. So there are certain criteria that you have to match it so that um, you are buying a good printer and it will run for a long time. So you, know, you should think about cost quality also when buying the printer. So first thing what you have to see as a system specification, right? The resolution, what is the resolution it will give and the speed. So how many pages per minute it can print. So they measure it as a PPM pages per minute, two pages, four pages, six pages like that. Graphics and printer language support. So what are all the language the printer will able to print? So mostly uh, whatever language op Microsoft uh, operating system is supporting all the languages the printer will uh, print but sometimes there will be some restrictions so you have to see it. Paper capacity so if at all dot matrix printer is used um, it will have a, a bundle of papers uh, connected together so in case of dot matrix printer there will be uh, continuous sheets feed, feeds available so we do not worry about the capacity it is not a single feed available in case of laser and dot matrix it will be different there will be a tray available for keeping the papers uh, inside uh, due to cycle printer memory so if you have a good memory uh, it will give more uh, storage capacity and you can uh, dump more jobs into the printer otherwise printer may hang or it will not print properly cost of paper the quality of paper uh, leads to uh, increase in the cost so you can also see different uh, quality of papers available. Normally A4 paper, JK copier, uh, all um, uh, Tamil Nadu paper, mat paper. So it'll be uh, it'll be giving it as um, 150 or 200 rupees uh, per uh, ream. Um, in case of computer sheets, right? Uh, for dot matrix printer, it'll be a roll continuous roll paper. So they charged uh, by kg, right? Kilograms and all they charge. So when you buy the papers, so two kg or three kg, you'll buy it. Uh, sometimes the banks and all they'll create a papers for their own requirement you will see com companies logo or banks logo in the over the uh, computer paper so they will use it for as a standard one across all their places they'll be using the same paper so they'll prepare the paper for their own requirement cost of consumables as I said um, dot matrix printer will be having less cost even then you can reduce further if you have a printer ink available in your home or in your hand um, otherwise um, the, the cost is very less for dot matrix printer so advantage it can print multi part stationary or make carbon copies impact printers have one of the lowest printing cost per page so uh, the overall consumable rate itself is very less so the overall cost is also coming down they don't use continuous paper rather than requiring individual sheets. So you, you cannot feed, you can feed uh, individual A4 sheets, but uh, uh, in companies normally they prefer to have a continuous sheets in the dot matrix printer. So the um, uh, individual feeding of paper is avoided 
and your time is also saved otherwise for each and every printout you have to uh, get up and uh, insert the paper properly and roll it uh, keep it in a correct position then only uh, you can um, take a printouts in like a typewriter you have to insert it roll the roll the paper for two three times you will get the paper in the front side right so then only it will be uh, start printing the ink ribbon also does not easily dry out right so the ink is available in the ribbon it comes for a long time so if it is very fade or uh, the printouts are not coming properly in the dry color dark color then you can decide to uh, change the ribbon or uh, just dip it into the printer's ink for some time and dry it out then you can reuse it so that much simple with the dot matrix printer disadvantage impact printers are usually noisy and the dot matrix printer once it prints it fires the job right so uh, it will keep on uh, making a noise so sometimes it comes with a headache uh, normally people will not choose so um, that is a disadvantage of impact printer they can only print low resolution graphics so graphics itself we cannot decide about uh, dot matrix printer only text we have to prefer they are prone to bent pins so um, because you are continuously printing uh, that sometimes the print print head pins can get damaged you have nine pins right so you, even if one pin is damaged you, the printouts will not come properly probably you have to go for changing replacing the print head in case of dot matrix printers how to connect so in the computer box you will have a parallel port see nowadays you are converting all the things into USB universal serial bus but earlier days we had a parallel port where you will be connecting the printer so it will be a female port available in the printer side 25 pin D shell male connector um, cable will have a male connector and a computer will have a female connector so it's a 36 pin connector so uh, you have to remember this because in the interviews we used to ask in the uh, previous time in the uh, candidate uh, available but now everything is USB so you are not going to ask this question in the interview but if at all you are going to uh, get a job in bank segment or uh, factory uh, side or uh, bigger organization still they use dot matrix you can easily find out this kind of parallel uh, cables available right so you should remember that time so it is a 36 pin mail connector one side and a printer connector is other side so in the system box you will have a 36 uh, 36 pin uh, female connector and that is called as a um, hamphenol connector um, in printer also you will see different type of printer connector so it is using the uh, parallel port LPT1 and the communication is parallel it is not sequential right you had a sequential printer earlier uh, it was very slow because the data will have to be processed processed sequentially but now in case of parallel printer it, it uses parallel port so multiple uh, data channel data signals will be going to the printer and uh, the print job collection will be faster and uh, based on the memory capacity it can store a huge amount of files and then it prints one by one so normal troubleshooting of dot matrix printer so if at all you are going to uh, get a job in uh, uh, banks or in other uh, um, outlets right outlet kind of things you should know some basic troubleshooting in the dot matrix printer so uh, troubleshooting we are going to do some uh, basic troubleshooting so that uh, you can rectify the issues with the uh, dot matrix printer so normally what happens is um, the printout thing is very uh, dull uh, very uh, it is not bright right so you'll have to change the ribbon and um, in case of maintenance right so keep the printer clean if at all you get more dust right if you keep the printer uh, uh, open kept open in the printer roller uh, there will be some sliding bar kind of things right the head will be moving into it so if you catch up with more dust then what happens the print head movement will get stuck and you will not get good quality printout so while cleaning the printer we'll also ensure that uh, we put some oil in the uh, roller so that the head moves very smooth um, printer head clean so we have to ensure the head is very clean with the help of cotton cloth you can just wipe it out uh, in kind of any kind of dust or any other things you have to clean it other so that you get um, uh, clean printouts replace the printed if it fails so sometimes now we discussed nine do nine pins available and uh, you are getting nine dots right so seven dots is actually used for seven rows used for uh, uh, printing the uh, character suppose any one pin or two pin is damaged right 
you can find out the same uh, dot is not available for continuous thing so we can conclude that the print head is damaged or we can say one or two pins is damaged because of which the printer is printing without that uh, dot so this is the uh, basic troubleshooting with the dot matrix printer and um, proper cleaning dust removal those things are very much sufficient for ensuring the dot matrix printer life so now we for all you are in ac room uh, the dust available is very less so you do not worry about it but keep the printer closed so that you can safeguard the printer from the dust otherwise um, the regular maintenance uh, of printer is more than sufficient for taking good quality printouts so with this we have come to the conclusion uh, for uh, uh, dot matrix printer uh, and for the printed technologies we are completing part one thank you very much